Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Prayer. Happy New Year, our first night prayer of the new year and we turn into our normal Friday slot after things being moved around a bit over Christmas. I hope you're all okay. We find ourselves again in different circumstances to when I was last here with you. And so I'm hoping that with everything that's going on that that you're all doing okay. With a new year comes new hope and whilst there does seem to be um, turmoil in the world and some worrying things in our own country with uh, a number of hospitalisations I still feel that that hope is on its way. We've got three vaccines now and hopefully it's not going to be too long before things can gradually become a little bit more normal. And for myself, I have to hang on to that little bit of hope. So what I want to do tonight is use the covenant service from um, from the Northumbria community prayer book and this is a service which is used at the beginning of a new year or at other times of new beginnings to to kind of re reaffirm our faith and our beliefs and to um, mark out the beginning of, of something new or something special and so whilst there is still so much uncertainty and unrest I feel hope is just around the corner oh God you have been good you have been faithful, you have been good. You have shown us your love, not just in the year that is past, but through all the years of our lives. Oh God, you have been good, you have been faithful, you have been good. You have given us life and reason and set us in a world which is full of your glory. You put family around us and comfort us with, comfort us with friends you touch us through the thoughtfulness and warmth of other, of other people. Oh God, you have been good. You have been faithful. You have been good. In darkness, you have been our light. In adversity and temptation, a rock of strength. You are the source of joy and all the reward we ever need. Your loving kindness is everlasting. Your loving kindness is everlasting. You remembered us when we had forgotten you, followed us when we ran away, met us with forgiveness whenever we turned back to you. Your loving kindness is everlasting. Your loving kindness is everlasting. God our Father, you have set forth the way of life for us in your beloved Son. We confess with shame our slowness to learn from him, our reluctance to follow him. You have spoken and called, and we have not given heed. Your beauty has shone forth, and we have been blind. Be tender in your mercy, Lord. Be tender in your mercy. Forgive us that we have not loved you with our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. We have taken much and returned little thanks. We have been unworthy of your unchanging love. Forgive us our coldness and indifference, our lack of constant love, our unbelief our false pretenses, our refusal to understand your ways. Be tender in your mercy, Lord. Be 
be tender in your mercy. Teach us your ways, O Lord, and let us walk in your truth. We put behind us our stubborn independence and turn again to you. Now let us willingly fasten ourselves to the God of covenant, that we be Christ's and Christ be ours. Christ has many tasks for us. Some are easy, easy others are difficult. Some bring honour, others bring reproach. Some are to our liking and coincide with our own inclinations and are in our immediate best interest. Some are just the opposite. In some we may please Christ and please ourselves. In others we cannot please Christ except by denying ourselves. Yet the power to take on all of these is most definitely given us in Jesus. For it is he who strengthens us and comes to help us when we are weak. Let us say yes to the covenant that he makes with us. I am no longer my own, but yours. Use me as you choose. Rank me alongside whoever you choose. Put me to doing, put me to suffering. Let me be employed for you or laid aside for you, raised up for you or brought down low for you. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. With my whole heart, I freely choose to yield all things to your ordering and approval. So now, God of glory, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, you are mine and I am your own. Amen. Please keep safe, as safe as you can. I'll be back here next week and I pray that each of you feels uplifted and surrounded by God's love. Take care and I'll see you next week.